Rachel Garceau with the On Your Side forecast. All right, get ready for some changes in our forecast after hitting highs up near 100 yesterday. Temperatures tumble today under the influence of cloud cover and some thunderstorm activity. We get briefly sunnier and warmer tomorrow, but then over the weekend, as our temperatures tumble, and I get to use the word mild to describe our weather, there is going to be a trade-off, especially for you campers. So anyone heading to the higher elevations over the weekend, stay tuned. Here's how we're starting off this morning. 73 degrees with partly cloudy skies in Boise, partly cloudy in Stanley and McCall as well, with temperatures in the mid 40s at Redfish Lake, low 50s in uh, McCall, and 59 in Sun Valley to kick things off. All right, and here's what I mean by campers need to pay attention to the forecast. As we have thunderstorms in the forecast today, we'll get a brief little break tomorrow in McCall. Just a 20% chance of some storms tomorrow. Temperatures rebound back up near 80. Then, as we have that cold air advancing on us from the Pacific Northwest, yes, it will send temperatures dropping. In fact, overnight lows in McCall by the end of the weekend will be down into the 40s. So pack an extra blanket or two if you're heading up in elevation. And then look at the storms that are possible as well. It looks like Saturday may be our most active weather day in the mountains, but at 30% chance of isolated storms Sunday as well. So if you are heading up to do some camping, any outdoor recreating in the higher terrain over the weekend, be ready for anything. And today we will have a round of thunderstorms to contend with as well. Our weather today coming in from the south, you can see the thunderstorms have been rolling through northern Nevada, making their way now into Owyhee County. I've not seen lightning strikes yet across the gem state, but that is not out of the question for today. Looks like these may advance up to Twin Falls here in the next hour or two. A couple of light little sprinkles were popping up outside Ontario earlier today, but all in all, we're just partly to mostly cloudy across the valley and dry for now. There is a chance we could see some storms firing off right here in the Treasure Valley, but the red flag warnings do not include the areas from Weezer out into Boise. Mountain Home, though, and eastward into the Magic Valley are included in those fire weather warnings for today. This is where we see the greatest fire potential as far as new fire starts from those storms. Abundant lightning and gusty winds expected today, but the cloud cover will also keep us in very comfortable territory. Look at these temperatures. We're talking a 15 degree plus drop for most places compared to yesterday. 84 degrees for Ontario and Weezer today, 83 in Caldwell, a comfy 85 for Boise and 87 degrees in Mountain Home. Again, there may be a few stray storms firing off across the valley, and if so, make sure you have a plan B in your back pocket if you are outdoors today, but all in all, it will be comfortable. 83 for Council, upper 70s for McCall, Donnelly and Cascade today. The storms today will favor the East Central Mountains, but there is a chance of some stray storms over in the Western Mountains. Low Low 70s, the high temperatures for Stanley and Sun Valley. Magic Valley, some thunderstorms firing off for you later in the day today. Mostly cloudy skies, a little breezy, and a high of 77 in Twin Falls today. All right, my extended forecast shows that sun emerging briefly tomorrow, getting us up to 90 degrees to wrap up the work week. Then we see more storms rolling back in late Friday through Saturday. Not a great chance of storms or showers here in the valley. Just a slim chance, but look at those temperatures. Low 80s to upper 70s over the weekend. That is territory much more typical of early June than early August.